What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's your girl KTBK Laws checking in. KTB Claws with K Baby. Guesting on my boy G Poppy Sports. Okay. So y'all know what the day is. June 6th. Big day. What the day is? June 6th. And what's going on today? It's the NBA Finals. I hope day that's what one, we're game about. one of the finals. Dallas Mavericks and the Boston Celtics is going down. Who y'all got? I'm going with the Dallas Mavericks. Ooh, not the underdog. Kyrie Irving. My boy taking, hold on. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. Ball on up. Kyrie Irving. Luka Doncic. I've been saying it about Luka. two and a half weeks. I had an emotional pick. I thought Indiana could beat Boston, but I was feeling... Whoa, whoa. The emotional pick? Yeah, I have emotional They got to play for that? They got to parlay for that? Yeah. No. No. You know, you know anybody oh, okay, okay. being emotional, but sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you be rooting hey, for Hey, y'all will take my idea. Don't, don't tell them because it sounds like it'll be a lot of plays on those. <laughs> no, nah, but it, it, you know, it just... You know, sometimes you just be rooting for a story or a player or a group of guys, and that's what I was going for. But the bigger storyline is the Boston Celtics, the Dallas Mavericks, Kyrie Irving playing against his former team, the Young Bucks, his exactly. mentor, Christos Porzingis, who's on the Boston Celtics, his former teammates, and Luka Doncic. So, I mean, it's... It's oh a my goodness, there's a lot of intertwining going yeah, it's on here. a lot of history going on. So you know what? I'm definitely team Kyrie. Kyrie. I'm definitely wanting to go for the Mavericks. It's just all of their plays that they had as the underdogs didn't come through. It was what, seven of them? Yep. About seven of them. And you know, they're not favored. And I just feel, first of all, where is the game tonight? It's in Boston. It's in the Home garden. Home court advantage, baby. Eight and a Come half, on now. Eight and a half favorite Boston, but I ain't going for it. It's the final. I was wondering why it was so hot everywhere. It's really hot today. I think Dallas bringing that heat. Mm -hmm. Dallas coming, man. Dallas, Luka, man, ain't scared of nothing, man. It's another day for Luka. Kyrie Irving has been here before. He's won it. It oh, arguably man. has, arguably probably had the greatest shot in the game seven against the Warriors. Back in the day when they were down 3-1 with Cleveland Cavaliers with your boy LeBron when he hit the game center shot. He ain't a shooting guard for no reason. You feel me? So that, that's what I'm rolling with. Then Luka, nobody can stop him. Y'all, people, the commentators, people were saying, the Timberwolves, they playing good defense. I haven't seen defense like this since Michael Jordan days. And you can't do nothing against that. Well, i tell you one thing. I ain't never seen a backcourt. And I ain't never seen an offensive duo like Luka, Donis, and Kyrie so you tell me what's up with that. Something beautiful gonna happen. They gonna they gonna take it all. Yeah, we gonna go with that. Dallas is sick. And, and it's no and it's no hate in the Celtics. You know, it, it's a lot of pressure on Jason Tatum. He has LeBron James type pressure, ladies and gentlemen. Like I haven't heard nobody with this much pressure to win a championship since LeBron James when he was the Miami Heat. So if Jason Tatum don't win this championship, now if he play good, he ain't gonna get slandered. But if he doesn't play good, he's gonna be slandered all season. Oh. Speaking of slander, we gotta talk about it. What we gotta talk about? What's going on? <sighs> I hate to bring it up because it's just so much other things going on. But I feel like the slander every everywhere I'm looking, everywhere I'm reading, Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark. Oh yeah. She got hit too hard. Look, she's an investment. You know, there's there's investments in the league, but Clayton Clark, Caitlin Clark, I'm sorry, she's different. I'm not going to treat her, you know, no different from anybody else. She's a rookie. You got to earn it. You know, everybody knows if you're a rookie, you got the height. What comes with the height comes with that territory. So you just got to defend the yard. Now, one thing I would say is that her teammates don't seem like sometimes they on her side. But, you know, I was thinking when I made a podcast earlier that sometimes women jealousy. Women are you know definitely what? emotional, baby. Yeah. That's why I said, hey, those emotional players might not yeah. be so bad with yeah. all this light finally shining on the WNBA. Maybe we should start doing some emotional plays. But we, we also, <laughs> we already have players in the WNBA. I, I, I watched the WNBA. You got Adrian Wilson, who probably 
one of the best in the league. You got Alyssa Thomas. You got players out there. You got the old Nobi twins out there. You got some players out there. How do you feel about the new Atlanta volleyball team, women's volleyball team? Atlanta Vibe, right? Uh, that's what they call it. Atlanta I think they're Atlanta Vibe. I'm not looking more into Atlanta Vibe. I really haven't heard too, too no, much about the Atlanta but Vibe, but I've been hearing they've been trying to bring hockey. Oh, yeah. I remember the Thrashers. Yeah, they're trying to bring back a hockey team. But if they have a volleyball team, I definitely would check that out. And I'm definitely trying to check out Atlanta Dream Game. I think they played a fever. I think Clayton Park in there. They come here June 21st. Sponsored by Game Time app. There you go. Make sure you need you any last-minute tickets? Pull go. up your phone. Go to Game Time. You'll you find some low, low discounted tickets. Catch those Atlanta Dream. Can't make it to the playoffs. I mean, they may have tickets for the finals. Yeah, I mean, the playoffs over, so you can't make it to the playoffs. Yeah. Finals, maybe. Now those tickets, I don't know what. How pricey are they? They're very pricey. Finals but on the game time app, you'll you might, get them for the love. You might save you a little money, man. So make sure you check that out, man. Let me pull it up real quick and see how much the tickets are on the game time app. Know. You know, just make sure you follow, subscribe to G-Pack Sports on all social media and platforms, you know. Like, follow, subscribe. There you go. You know, go ahead and tell them what you like to do on the side, side hustle, you know. So you know what I do, baby. I do the nail for you, honey. Do the feet for you. I do anything you want for you. you see the nails going. They out there showing us. There Beautiful. Almost matching the, the mic. Yeah, They're Got beautiful. So, this is the game time app, guys. This is what it's gonna look like. And I just like to click sports. But they also have music shows. And the Atlanta Dream is today for $6. Oh, man. Woo, woo, woo. $6 tonight at 7.30. I'm to check that out. $6. You can't beat that, yeah. right? You can't beat that at all. That, that's not a good price. They have some Braves tickets. They have some Atlanta United. Oh my goodness. 2026 coming to the A? Yeah. You're gonna make a big name. Sports is coming, man. I'm getting a billboard for my nails. Sports, sports in Atlanta is coming. Even though it's Oh the my goodness, a two dollar Atlanta Falcons ticket. Now you can buy that Wait. now and just hold on to that when the season starts, y'all. Oh, I don't know, but they might have you out there on, on Josie E. Boom out there. I don't know. Hey, hey, $2 now? Oh, oh, yeah, it is the upper end zone yeah, for park, that price. Parking might be 50 cents. <laughs> I'm not sure why. So, I went to the Megan Thee Stallion concert, mm -hmm. the one that was rescheduled. Yeah. Do the water main breaks. Do to the water main breaking in Atlanta. I mean, just busted older, rusty, and busty, and crusty, and disgusting. They say they over 100 years old. That's what they saying around They look like they was over 1,000 years old. Mm -hmm. Look like my ancestors before my ancestors was working on them pipes. You feel Seriously. me? Seriously. And they had their red clay on that George red clay. But anyway, the concert was rescheduled. We were supposed to go Friday and we had to go Sunday. And we, you know, trying to save some money. We was gonna park in a neighborhood close by. <laughs> like what you just said. Yeah, I know, yeah. So we pull up to a nice little neighborhood where on Friday, one of the girls who came with us, she knew like basically that was her family. It was her baby daddy. House or whatever. So we was gonna park there, but she didn't come with us Sunday. Yeah. But we still remember how to get there. So we go and we, we ordered the Uber and was about to leave. Man, we saw some glass on the ground and turned our ass around. <laughs> we canceled that lift so quick. And I said, look, y'all, we just going to park in front of the safe farm. I'm looking to pay $70. Yeah. I mean, it's four of us. We can break it on down, baby. Oh, oh, you can do what I do. I take the train station. I go to College Park train station. Come on, and I come take on. that train straight down. But, but you know what? Ain't no shame Guess what happened? Game. What always happened? I'm so blessed. Thank you. We pulled into that thing. He said $50. I said, oh man, I put on my cash up. I said, oh man, I just sent her all my money for the lift. So she gave me $50 cash. I got all 50s on me. 
I'm like, man, we just got cash. She like, we got a towel. I'm like, ain't nobody got nothing on sale. Just throw women in the car. I'm talking about we look good. We yeah. make a stallion concert. Yeah, Everybody just got 50s. Like, we all make good next better. Y'all was today beautiful. But he was like, Y'all good. I knew and it, he has to pay to park. Mm -hmm. So if we get them two dollar tickets, as long as you and me, yeah, I get it. Hey, we you, gonna get up through that. As long as you got, as long as you got them looks, man, you good. You get wherever you go. You feel well, thank you. There you go. Yeah, yeah we can't get no tickets to the uh, game tonight. It's all good. It's all good. I just watched the finals on TV. They, they gotta be sold out. Yeah. Well, they have one on the. Oh no, they do have them tonight. Sorry, no. they have them tonight uh, for seven hundred and one dollars. Is the cheapest, and I see some for thirty six oh eight. She said thirty six oh eight. Oh my, three thousand six hundred and eight dollars. Let's click it. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's row four. That's a lot. Ooh. And that's actually five hundred and thirty-eight dollars off. We're gonna so. spend ten bands just to get them. And we only got four hours. <laughs> well, that's a that's a lot of time. I mean, me personally, you know, me personally, you know, it would it would have to be some other way. Me personally, I would uh, sign up for a staffing company Ooh. in that city in Boston. And pick up a shift at the arena okay. and, and work and okay. probably make about $23 an hour slinging pizza, okay. or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Pizza. Get to be able to watch the game, pizza, you know, coffee, have some food for my baby and myself after, yeah. you know, do some networking because, you know, I always have my own card ready to go. Speaking of which, here is my QR code. She's prepared, ladies and gentlemen. She is prepared. So you all Boom. can scan that. Boom. She ready to scan, scan. And that'll give you access to KTDK Laws. There you go. There you go. We're putting you on game now. Putting you down now. This, this so eventually, I'm going to start doing nails for the NBA. NFL. Yeah, because surprisingly, NBA. you got players doing that. Caleb Williams, the number one pick in the NFL. He get his finger, his nails done, you know, however you want to call it. I, I seen a manicure. Uh, manicure. Uh, yeah, manicure. I seen another college player. He got an NL, a NIL deal mm -hmm. with uh, some type of finger finger company. Oh, Sally Hansen, I think I did see I, that. I, I think yeah. I did see that. Yeah. Know, so it's money. Now, that's a little too far for me, you yeah. know. Yeah, I guess so. But that money, that money talking out them. I mean, I have a son and I do nails, and oh, yes. I would different. just prefer a different nail or nil, however you call it, type of deal. Yeah, I would just NIL prefer a different deal. one for my boy. It's you your, know what I'm saying? It's I ain't not to nobody. It's your food deal. Hustle. You can't go wrong with a food. A food, you know. Popeyes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. I was just gonna say now. Now my baby, you know. You can tell me, you can't never go wrong with something like that. trim and healthy. Well, I mean, I probably get you right now. Love him some Popeyes. No, no and that. speaking of that, make sure y'all save y'all receipts from Popeyes because you get free two piece and a biscuit Ooh. if you purchase a large drink. Okay. You get two to three dollars. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't remember that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's you what's know? up. And if you don't want to go in there and spend some money first, you know, just go buy you a little. Pepper. Okay. Pepper. Green pepper. The green one. Okay, okay. You <laughs> put me you. on game. I'm you. I'm gonna say dang. If it was two days, it'd be two dollar Tuesday, I man. Yeah, oh yeah, I had that about a few weeks ago. They still do it. You know, I gotta get a whole eight piece from church. Yeah, you can get two two pieces and a couple of biscuits and a little uh, large sweet tea. I'm good. Every time. But this, this chicken is just so addicted. I've been going to Harold's lately. I've never, had, I've never had Harold's. Oh my God. They, they, up there, they, they up there with Popeyes. I mean, they're delicious. I don't know what they doing to that chicken back there. I'm about to try that out, man. There's one close by definitely here? Definitely get an eight piece. Well, you know, it's one on Edgewood, and then it's one out in Marietta. Yeah, that's the last one I see. I definitely, uh oh, excuse me. You want to come back 
SPESIAL